Welcome back. Now, Swedish prosecutors are dropping the rape investigation against WikiLeaks co-founder Julian Assange, ending a seven-year standoff. Assange has been in the Ecuadorian embassy in London since uh, the charges emerged and also has an extradition order against him in the US for leaking classified national security documents. So let's get some more details now from our UK correspondent, uh, Polly Boyko, who joins us on the line, I believe. Uh, good afternoon to you, Polly. Give us some more details then, and what are the implications here for Julian Assange? Well, that's the big question now. So the chief prosecutor in Sweden, Marianne Nye, she has put out a statement now ahead of a press conference where she'll be giving more details. But the statement says that she's decided to discontinue the preliminary investigation concerning Julian Assange. Now, the ball uh, is perhaps in the Swedish court, uh, court now because they need to act on whether or not they will be dropping the investigation. Of course, WikiLeaks have already tweeted a picture of a very happy Julian Assange. It's an old picture, uh, we believe. And they've also said that the ball actually is now in the UK's court because they're saying that the UK government is refusing to confirm or deny whether it has already received an extradition warrant for Julian Assange from the US. So still a number of legal hurdles for Assange's legal team to cross before he is a free man and he's able to walk free. My uh, prediction is that that's not going to happen today. Of course, he says that if he's extradited over to the US, he says he could face trial there over the leaking of secret documents. And uh, there has been speculation, and uh, WikiLeaks believe that there could be a trial or they could be pre preparing a case over espionage over in the US. Um, just a few weeks ago, the US Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, has said that arresting Assange is, quote, a priority. So Assange's legal team now focused on getting assurances about the implications of what the Swedish prosecutor's decision now means. And there will be a press conference over in Sweden starting in the next few minutes where we are sure to get more details.